Hi guys, Jack here, playing Throne for All once again. Today we're on Frosty, and this map's pretty cool because it's nice and wide open, and then to start with, everything is concentrated in north. Here's the perks we're using. We have Warrior Mode and Heavy Armor. Heavy Armor giving you plus 250% health, and that Warrior Mode, you can see the text for it, which was, my units and buildings deal 40% less damage, and I deal 175% more damage at the very last night, and I start with actually a debuff, but then each night that goes on, it gets stronger. So as you can see right now, I'm really struggling against these enemies, but as the knights get more and more uh, progressed along, I'll be dealing some serious damage. We also did a challenge, uh, which was challenge the snake god. There's 50% less gold that you get, but you get 30% more points and XP. I'm also using the sword, which has this attack, which, you know, has a pretty small AoE, but it does damage other people, unlike the spear or the bow, and then it also has a larger sludge attack. I've gone for a harbor and a house up till now, with the harbor spawning a boat every night it survives, and then each boat giving you gold, so the sooner you can get it up, the better. I've got archers this night, and luckily they're pretty bad against buildings, so even though they got my health pretty low, my watchtower was able to destroy it. And then up next is slimes, but luckily the sword is really good against them and takes care of them no problem, as you're about to see. Big hit, you know, we just knocked out like 20 there. Very nice. And the reason I did challenge the snake god and the sword is because that was actually one of the challenges for this map. If you complete the map with those, you get a little bit more points and whatnot, and then if you complete all of them, you get 100% of the map. So I figured I'd give it a try, because as you saw maybe in the last two videos, I didn't do any of them, so I wanted to see if I could get it. So we're just trying to get our eco up, adding a few houses, and I noticed there mm, that was a little hard even against the slimes, and so I decided to spawn some units, especially if there's a siege rank coming, because that can deal some serious damage. The uh, sword is pretty interesting. I don't know, the default attack is alright, but the big slash attack I'm really a big fan of, and as you can see versus the slimes, it really puts some serious work in. I'm just trying to maneuver around and get my uh, slash attack hitting multiple enemies at the same time. And my long momentum I'm putting in good work. Unfortunately he manages to take down a watchtower which will mean a little bit less points for me but I'm not really too worried about that. I'm just trying to complete the maps. Now we have some flying units coming at us so I buy a watchtower just to deal a bit more damage since I can't actually do anything with my sword. And then I spend a little bit more on eco. That building in the top right there is a blacksmith, and so you actually pay, and then it takes a few days to research things. And some of these things are like plus 20% range damage, plus 30% resistance to enemy melee attacks, and things like that. And so you choose from them, and I thought that was pretty interesting, and this was the first map that I've seen that. I go for an upgrade, and I go for royal training, which is plus 75% damage and 75% health for me. And the reason I did that again is because I have warrior mode, so I'm dealing 175% more damage on the last day. So anything that increases that even more is just going to stack and we're going to get some really crazy damage output on the last night. Which is actually going to turn out to be really useful. Hint, hint. So not too bad here, just a few archers and siege units, but unfortunately those archers really do a number on me and I get quite low. But we managed to kill most of them. And the archers put some more work in, so it's not too bad. And I'm thinking, I'm like, oh good, we're almost done here. But then there's a whole second wave coming from the other side. But luckily our archers are all respawned, and we didn't die. And so we're able to kill these pretty quickly. I leave my archers to deal with that, and then I go to start dealing damage to this siege weapon. Because I want to see if I can stop them from destroying my tower. Luckily we managed that, which is always good. We're getting 11 gold per turn right now, which is alright. Buy another harbor, because that was fun, and I decided to go for a gold line, because <clears throat> you get your return on investment. As long as it survives the first night. Another harbor on the other side, a few more watchtowers, and we got a lot of slime spawning, but luckily my sword deals some serious damage. Our spears are helping us out there. But, I wasn't paying enough attention, and you'll see there's a lot of racers spawning, and those guys love to go right for your spawn. I drag my spearman over to try and slow him down a little, and then I send a few archers back to see if they can maybe deal some damage. I waste a bit of time and go over and kill that one lone guy on my harbor, and then I'm trying to deal with these uh, 
little guys that are killing my units. And as you'll see, they managed to deal about half health to my town center, and I only just managed to survive. All my units died. So that was actually cutting it a little close. I go over here, buy more archers, just because it's always good to have another watchtower there. And as you can see, there's a natural barricade there. But archers have no problem shooting over that wall, so it makes a cool little defensive section there. And again, more towers, especially with flying critters, because I can't do anything and you're relying entirely on your units. So far, I seem to be doing okay. They destroy that harbor, unfortunately, but it's probably a given. I go over the left and try and get some more archers to come over and defend because I want to sort of keep as many houses uh, alive as possible and unfortunately I upgraded those two houses on the eastern most part of my town and those were the ones that got destroyed so it was a little bit of a waste maybe we should have done them in the north but oh well. Lots of enemies coming from the south so I upgrade that watchtower nearby. I buy some flails just because I'm really pleased with how much damage they do especially if you have spears slowing enemies down because then they have more time to hit them and then you know we got our archers behind the wall there and we're gonna do some good damage. I go right in deep right away see if I can get some good AoE damage and as you can see I've softened up quite a few. Go in for my sword slash. You know I got the ram down to almost half health which is always good. Here we go in, I make sure my flails are allowed to walk, and as you can see, we're doing some pretty decent damage, especially with the archers soaking them up, but they do actually just crush right through my melee unit, so I make sure to go grab my archers and pull them out of harm's way, because we want to keep them alive, because they're dealing quite a bit of damage. I'm not too sure about the perks I chose, I still definitely think the best is the commander mode and arcane towers that I was using on the last levels. And ooh, I get a bit too close and I'm a little low and then I die. And unfortunately that means the monsters can get close to my archers and kill a few. But we managed to come back pretty quickly. But yeah, like I was saying the perks, it makes your guy good, but I feel like by the end game, you have so many units and towers going on, it's almost a bad thing to have their damage nerfed just so you can be dealing more damage. Got a lot of enemies coming here. We got some racers, slimes, and wasps. I don't want those racers doing anything too crazy, so I put some melee units across the line there. And then I drag some archers out behind, upgrade another tower, spend my little bit of remaining money on upgrading houses, because you know, you always want to get more gold. And here come the racers, and as you can see, they just pull right through my spears because I have some on the right side, and they don't actually go that way. The wasps have no trouble instantly destroying my harbor, but all of these racers are just pouring through. I quickly grab some archers and bring them back to see if they can help, but they're just targeting the wasps, and as I hinted the last time there was racers, they just go right through and absolutely annihilate my town center, which is unfortunate. I go for a restart and this time I know exactly what to do. We want all of our spears on the left hand side blocking them. We want more archers dealing as much damage as we can and defending it. Uh, we gotta get these guys over here as well. That's four more archers though and four more spears so I think that's pretty good. And I'm putting these guys over there to hopefully kill the wasps. And then a little bit of money I have left, I upgrade a tower. And then only two houses. So that actually means I upgraded one more defensive structure. I go down deep, trying to deal some damage. You know, I'm weakening a few of the racers. But now they have quite a few more units to go through. And it doesn't look like they're doing so good. As you can see, they're pretty low when they get through. And I'm running around, bouncing them off course. Bring a few of my archers north to deal damage because I don't want them to destroy my town center for a second time in a row. That'd be a little embarrassing. Luckily our towers on the left are dealing some damage which is very helpful and we kill all those racers and it's just the wasps left and they're trying to target the houses. I come down, use my slash attack and I clear up all those nasty little slimes too. This round a lot of units from all over. So I gotta spread my units out a bit, because if I concentrate them all in one area, then the units will walk through in the other, of course. Buy another tower, because it looks like it might get a little hectic. Upgrade where I can. 
And of course, a little bit of remaining money, I do my houses in the north. Go right down to where I saw the slimes respawning, just because, as you've seen, my slash attack does so much damage and it makes them really much not a threat. But if they don't do that, I find that they actually really eat at my tower's health, and then they're taking a lot of arrows too, which is better spent on the racers, because I don't want those guys attacking my town center. As you can see, the slimes, all super low health, bunch up on my tower, and they actually pretty much, in a space of three seconds, eat it alive, which is really annoying. I go up north a little bit and I see, holy cow, that's a lot of enemies. Slash attack clears a lot of them out, I'm waiting for it to recharge, and I want to go down south and get these guys. But man, that is a lot of ogres. A few siege weapons coming, I'm managing to draw all the ogres in the south, so we were able to focus the enemies in the north and weren't getting curb stomped too hard. I see all my melee units are just sitting here doing nothing, so I dash over and grab them, get them in the fight. But pretty much by the time they get there, the battle's already over, but they definitely do help in mopping them up a little bit and maybe save a house or two, which is always appreciated. And just like that, we're on to the last day. I have no clue what to expect here with a monster in the middle. I'm not sure why I upgraded the harbor there, given that this is the last day, but I think at the time I wasn't entirely sure. But this guy is a beast, that's for sure. And one thing I noticed is the actual shape of the pond he's in and these little spikes of rock are actually in the same shape as he is, which I thought was kind of cute. So I walk over here and I see that he's spawning a lot of mobs and I can't attack him from the side. Uh, my first uh, thought here is I probably need to kill these mobs because they're going to deal a lot of damage. But what I realize is he's actually continuously spawning these mobs, so it's better to focus him first. But, you know, his first landing here, I don't know that. And as you'll see, he has a little bit of health there and he pulls back and he doesn't lose one of his health bars, which are the circles at the top. So that was a mess up right off the bat. Lots of these spawns uh, of slimes here, and as you can see, they annihilated two of my towers because they're just little gremlins, honestly. I move some archers down to see if they can deal some damage, and there's just so many enemies coming from the left. It's pretty hard to deal with, and he's almost annihilated uh, all of the outposts. So we're not looking pretty, to be honest. He's back on the other side. I decided to go down and maybe target him. And this is where I learned my lesson that he's the guy I need to focus because the ending enemies will stop spawning. But unfortunately, I learned that too late. As you saw, there were so many enemies in the north that just completely destroyed my town center. I go for another upgrade. Royal Mastery, which is always good. I build a wall too because as you saw there were so many enemies coming through there and anything you can do to keep your towers alive or the enemies occupied is always good. I'm spreading my units out now because I know that he comes on each side and I'm making sure to keep my archers safe behind the wall. Uh, on the left hand side where I don't have a wall I put my most of my melee units there and then while he's spawning I run around down to the south and I'm just going to target focus him because the units you spawn don't matter. You need to kill him as soon as possible so that he stops spawning those monsters. Luckily, I'm kind of able to combo, <clears throat> combo my attacks. When he lands, uh, I wait a second or two, and then when he spits a bunch of slimes, that's when I use my slash attack, and I manage to kill most of them. And this is where the warrior mode actually is pretty useful because I personally am dealing a lot of damage which is useful if you're trying to target focus a boss. So maybe it was a useful thing, I'm not sure. And I'm managing to get him dead before he spawns too many units. As you can see, he gets a few on my towers. I go over there and try to clear most of them out because I want to keep the towers alive. But then I'm not on the boss when he spawns and I get more units on that side. So as you can see, it's a delicate bal balancing act, quite difficult. I take my time running back, time the slash attack to kill those mobs. Most of my melee units on that side are dead. And at this point, I'm realizing my defenses are probably going to get busted soon, so I go to where most of my units are spawning and I put them next to my town center. So when the mobs break through the gates, like they have on this side, there's things there to stop them from destroying my town center. 
He's only at four health points left, and as you can see, my slash attacks deal some crazy damage, which is great. He's spawning right by my castle gate, so I grab those archers and bring them close so they can all help me target damage him, because if he sits there for too long, those mobs are all just going right to my town center, which is not good. I'm trying to see, figure out where he's going, moving units a little bit. Fortunately, when you're not at full health, you can't gallop, which is a little annoying. But we get there. You see I'm losing most of my towers on the right there. There's a big open wall. These racers can go right through from my town center. We managed to get him killed pretty quickly. I see there's a big pile of slimes there. And I decide not to do anything. But man, he kills all of my archers on that side and my towers. Because those slimes, like I said, unless you have AoE damage, they do a real number. We managed to kill him. He's on his last health now. He has no more circles left. But as you can see, all my units on the right are gone, so I have no archer support on that side. And he is spawning a lot of racers, and they're going straight for my town center. I'm at one quarter health, and he spawns like five more. They come out. I kill him, but that's not it. I still have to kill all the mobs, and I'm getting so low. I run over there, and I'm pushing these guys around so they can't get clean hits on my town center. And luckily, the slimes didn't want my town center. They wanted to kill my towers. And we just managed to scrape a victory. It literally looks like I have 1% health. And that was a really good game. I quite enjoyed this map. I got some ideas on how I play it differently in the future. A uh, couple restarts, but you know, it was brutal. And we did do it on a challenge. And I had a lot of fun with it. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Uh, give me a show what you thought. If you'd like to see more Thronefall. And good luck.